So I found this fun little gadget. This will make stringing seed beads so much easier and faster and fun as well. So if you want to see how it works, just stay tuned and I'll show you. But first, hi, my name's Melissa and welcome to my channel. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm excited to show you. I found this Beadalon bead spinner at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And it comes with these two wooden components. The bowl slips on top like that and you spin it. And it also comes with this big eyed curved needle, which I gotta watch myself. It's easy to lose. Can you see that? It's very thin. These seed beads here, I just bought a bunch of different colors and threw them all together. The sizes are all around 11-0, 11, 11, size 11, however you say. For this mix, I just wanted a bunch of beachy looking colors. Really fun. So anyway, I would always make my seed bead necklaces with 49 strand beading wire. And I don't know if you saw my video, I'll link it above. I would lay the beads out on a mat like this and I would load them up on my string on my beading wire by hand. And it wasn't so bad, you know, it takes a little time. But I saw this and I wanted to give it a try. Now, the thing is with the spinner and the needle, you can't use beading wire. I found that out, I tried it, it didn't work very well. You got to use the thread, which I have Fireline. I know you can get it at Michael's. It's six pound smoke colored. This is really thin as well. I think I'm going to switch because the necklaces come out really, really soft and flexible. And I'll just show you here. Before we start loading our beads on, we're going to put a little stopper bead on it. And I think these are called bead ends. It'll cover the stopper bead and it's got a little hook on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and there is a little hole there underneath. I'm going to feed the thread through that. Okay. I'm going to grab a seed bead, just any old seed bead. While my seed bead is on the thread, I'm going to feed it through again. You know what, I'm gonna feed it through again for safe measure. I'm gonna need a little help here. And I'm gonna pull my seed bead up here so it's snug in my bead end. Snug up my seed bead up in that bead end. And one more time, I'm gonna try to bring it around and feed it through my seed bead one more time. And grab it and pull it tight. So that secures it really nice onto your bead end. I'm gonna cut it really close. I'm gonna use this hypo cement. This stuff is really cool and it's got a precision tip here. You can dab on the tiniest little dot. And then take your pliers and smoosh it closed. We'll finish that a little better when we're done. But I'm going to pull out a good amount. I say it's like 20 inches, plenty to work with. And this needle here is pretty cool. You don't have to thread a needle. It's got all the needles pretty much the eye. Look at that. Stick that through there. Move my components over. And this thing is pretty nifty, so all you have to do is get your hook in there. I'm gonna hook it this way, so I'm gonna spin this way. You just kind of graze your needle on top of your beads here, and they just kind of feed themselves right up the needle. See, look at that. Seems like one of them got stuck here. That's why they weren't feeding anymore. But yeah, just keep going. Goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it. I 
That's a pretty good swipe. They're coming up pretty fast. I think this thing is so cool. Takes all the guessing out of it. Like I, I don't have to sit there and think what color I want next. It's all by chance. Look at how much I beat it already. So cool. Spun it really fast that time. That didn't take much time at all. Ooh, that was a fast one. Let me measure. Yeah, I'm at 18 inches already, so I'm gonna stop. Put this off to the side. So next, I wanna put another bead end on. So I'm gonna feed it through once to secure the bead end so it's not going all over the place. Bring it down, pull it tight, there we go. So do that with the bead end. Go through the seed bead, bring it through the seed bead. Once, and then you gotta bring the seed bead down into your bead end before you totally tighten. You need like five hands. Let me put this down. Grab my seed bead when nice and tight and pull it. And you got your seed bead seated in your bead end. Everything snug and then you can go through again and go around and through the bead cap again for the bead end. Try to get through the seed bead as well. There we go. Now it's coming through the seed bead. Grab it. Okay, once you got that done, you can trim it. Grab your glue again. You don't even have to squeeze it really. The bead just kind of forms. Get a drop of glue on your knots. Pinpoint precision for jewelry, beading, hobbies, whatever. This is cool stuff. And we just gotta close this side. So now we got two ends with the little hooks on them. So I've got a pair of split rings, a lobster clasp, and an extender chain, which I got from Amazon. I'll list everything down in the description. All I'm going to do here is kind of roll this in. I just like to roll it up on itself a little bit. So there's no gaps. Put some extender chain on. Same with this side. Put a split ring on. Just kind of roll this up on itself. And I'll take some round nose pliers to open up the 
split ring here. And then add my lobster clasp. All right, so there we go. Got a cool looking seed bead necklace. All ready to go. Easy peasy. I really love this technique now and I think I'm gonna be using thread for my seed beads from now on. You'll be seeing a lot more beading from me too, I think. I'm really getting into it. So what'd you think? Wasn't that fun? You gotta try it for yourself. The only thing is I had to learn how to use the thread, but I actually like it a lot better. And it does open a whole new world of beading for me, which I can't wait to try. So stay tuned for more. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, here's something else you may enjoy. Bye.